Recently, people with metal detectors were pushed aside by construction workers. A huge number of ongoing and planned construction projects means a huge amount of unearthed land, which is sure to contain something. From 400,000-year-old elephants to treasures worthy of the British crown. Hi friend, you're on the Kurt Up channel. Tunnel there have been legends about underground passages in the center of the Dnieper for a long time. However, what if they are real? Workers were building a subway in the city of Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine, in 2018 when they accidentally discovered a mysterious tunnel. Of course, it was not on the maps, and the builders were not ready for such a development of events. Later, it turned out that the workers had unearthed the main drainage channel during the reign of Catherine II. Moreover, artifacts of antiquity were also found. This was not the first discovery of ancient tunnels underground. During the laying of sewer pipes in 1914, an ancient weapon and two skeletons were found in a tunnel near the Potomkin Palace. Most likely, these were the dead soldiers. Interestingly, 12 regiments were involved in the construction of Yekaterinoslav, but after its completion, only a part of them returned to their former service. Where the rest went and what they did is unclear. The largest sword on Earth one of the most famous and at the same time the largest combat two-handed swords is kept in the Museum of the Netherlands, the city of Leeuwarden, Frisia. This amazing sword is 2150 mm long and weighs 6600 grams. He has the stamp Enri, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. It was forged in the middle of the 15th century in Germany. The handle of this sword is made of oak and trimmed with goatskin. Scientists speculate that these weapons were the property of Pierre Donia, Big Pierre, a French pirate and a fierce independence fighter. Legend has it that he could cut off several of their hats in an instant. It is believed that Pierre got the sword as a trophy from the Lanskinets, who revered him as a banner and only he could use it due to his physical abilities. His height was equal to the length of the sword, 2.15 meters. In 1515, his possessions were destroyed destroyed and burned by the military from the so-called Black Gang. His wife was brutally deprived of her life, and this hatred of murderers prompted him to contribute his share in the Galdarn War. Two-handed swords occupy a significant and important place among other types of cool-bladed weapons. This magnificent weapon is the pride of any modern museum, and we can only guess how much effort Big Pierre had to use to swim this sword. Strange Box in China Construction workers in Taizhou, China, were working to widen the roadway when they suddenly stumble upon something unusual in the ground. Oddly enough, no one knew what it could be. Whatever it is, it's clearly older than the city itself. Soon they began to dig up the ground around the find in order to understand what it was. But as soon as they realized what they had stumbled upon, they immediately realized that they needed more help. In the city of Taizhou, China, an ancient object was found at a depth of 6 feet during road repairs. What they unearthed for several hours was not just a box. They immediately understood this. A little later, the workers guessed that it was a tomb. They called archaeologists for further excavations. They were lucky to dig up the grave without violating its tightness. At first glance, it seemed that there was linen, silks, and an incomprehensible liquid. But as soon as they looked closely, they found something else. There was a body inside. It was not just a body, but a mummy. Archaeologists have established that 700 years ago, this mummy was a woman. After examining the contents of the grave, the jewelry, the way the body was wrapped, archaeologists have established that this woman came from the Min dynasty. The body was so well preserved that it was not difficult to get it from the grave. Most of the fabrics are also well preserved. If you look closely, you can even see facial features. Look how well preserved her shoes are. Incredible. Many people forget that China is much older than, for example, the United States. The history of China goes back thousands of years. Such cases are not uncommon here. Just imagine, near your parking space, you can find a mummy that is 2,000 years old. House from the depth of centuries 
With special excitement, archaeologists descended underground after the material builders in 1985, where, during the construction of the Borovitska metro station in Moscow, Russia, a small red brick house was discovered at a depth of 6 meters. Everything in it was preserved in its original form, not only the walls, but also the deco, dishes, furniture. Historians have established that the building dates back to the middle of the 16th century and once belonged to the village of Steria Vagenkova. Yuri Sopranenko, in his book Legends of Underground Moscow, writes that this is the construction of the Oprichny courtyard, which went underground due to a natural disaster. Luxurious Villa at a depth of 12 meters. In Rome, for many years they have not been able to complete the construction of a new metro line. Archaeologists are interfering. In early March, Italian researchers presented another sensational discovery to the press. At the Amboretum Epineo station, under construction since 2013, at a depth of 12 meters, the remains of Edomus, a luxurious city villa of the 2nd century, were discovered. The discovery was a continuation of the finds of previous years. In 2016, at the same construction site, at a depth of 9 meters, archaeologists dug out an army barracks built at the beginning of the 2nd century under Emperor Hadrian. It was a 1,200 square meters with a long central corridor and 39 rooms about 4 by 4 meters in size, probably soldiers' bedrooms. In each such chamber, with an area of only 16 square meters, could accommodate 6 or more people. The interior decoration of the premises was modest in an army way. Only in the officer's zone, the floors were covered with a simple black and white mosaic, and the walls were decorated with unpretentious frescoes. Even then, scientists suggested that the barracks was part of a larger complex, but which one? The answer lay below, at a depth of 12 meters. The barracks were connected to the same rich mansion, which archaeologists have now told about. The remains of a stairway leading from the domus to the barracks were also found. We never imagined that we would find a mansion here with a courtyard, a fountain, and at least four Team rooms, said Simone Moretta, scientific director of the excavation. According to archaeologists, the mansion was built at the beginning of the second century at the same time as the barracks, but later the domus was completed and the interior decoration was changed. Found in 2016, the barracks actually turned out to be part of a larger complex, but which one? And who owned the luxurious mansion? The media have already nicknamed the villa the House of the Centurion, and journalistic nicknames usually stick in the memory, even if they are not true. Centurion is too low a rank for the owner of such a rich mansion. Mayan Giant Mask in Mexico, during excavations on the Yucatan Peninsula, archaeologists have discovered a giant image of an unknown Mayan deity. Archaeologists have only just announced the discovery now, although the artifact itself was discovered back in 2017. A giant mask the size of a man was found at the archaeological site of Eucania, near the modern city of Motul. Since then, researchers at the National Institute of Anthropology and History of Mexico have painstakingly worked to restore it. The discovery was not reported for the safety of the artifact itself. There was a risk that it could be reached and destroyed by treasure hunters. The artifact itself puzzled researchers. It is dated to the late pre-classical Maya period, about 300 BC to 150 AD. The mask is an image of the face of an unknown deity or some very important person, a representative of the elite of the society of that period of time. Interestingly, after the restoration, archaeologists again buried the mask. National Institute of Anthropology and History of Mexico explained this by the fact that this monument and archaeological sites do not yet have legal protection. Pot with money and more. 
When laying tunnels for the construction of the future Novokuznetska station in Moscow, Russia, a large pot was found, in which there were almost 20,000 silver coins from the beginning of Peter's reign, the end of the 17th century. Fossilized remains of ancient animals, birds and fish are almost constant finds of metro builders. Skeletons and traces belong to the Cretaceous, Jurassic, Carboniferous and even the Cambrian more than 500 million years ago, Periods. Statues that are over 2,000 years old In Greece, at the construction site of the known hole in the city of Paeania, near the international airport of Athens, archaeologists have found two ancient statues which were estimated to be approximately 2,300 years old. The found complex of white marble consists of two female figures. The statues have survived only in fragments, but it is obvious that the women had different social status. A sick woman sits on the right side, her legs resting on a low stand. She is dressed in a tunic and robe. To the left is a maid or a doctor, supporting her head with her left hand. According to scientists, such gravestone reliefs are characteristic of the 4th century. The found statues were transferred to the archaeological museum. Archaeologists continue to search for relics at the construction site. Dragon skin in England, engineers from the Northern Electricity Company, while working in the village of Old Work, discovered a richly decorated fragment of a leather product, possibly medieval. The artifact depicts a dragon or other mythological animal. The leather creature, however, doesn't look particularly formidable and looks more like toothless from How to Train Your Dragon than a deadly Targaryen pet. Than a deadly Targaryen pet. And if you look closely, it's not a dragon dragon, but another mythological animal, a wyvern that is displayed on a piece of skin. The term wyvern was once proposed by the famous writer Andrei Sapkowski, the author of The Witcher. Two paws instead of four is the main difference between a wyvern and a classic dragon, which relies on a full set of lower limbs. The found item is really rare and interesting, and not only because it hints at a rich burial somewhere nearby. The most intriguing thing about this this piece of skin is the wyvern dragon depicted on it and its preliminary dating, the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages is a very general name for a very long and very varied period. During this time, the attitude towards dragons and the symbolism of this image has undergone radical changes, and several times. Romans, Saxons, Vikings, representatives of these cult treated dragons correctly, in a modern way, with deep reverence and without one-sided negativity. Activity. Creatures as complex as dragons have always been ambiguous characters. Simple medieval people, however, were very afraid of dragons, not so much for religious reasons, but for their everyday reasons. Who likes the dragon urine released in flight when it comes into contact with human skin causes rotting and death of damaged flesh? In this context, the image of a wyvern found in old work embossed on a leather artifact is of particular interest to researchers. What period of the Middle Ages does it belong to? What visual style does it correspond to? Where was it made? Who owned it? A small two-legged dragon can tell archaeologists a long and very unusual story. Treasure from the time of Ivan the Terrible in the summer of 2018, archaeologists discovered a treasure from the time of Ivan the Terrible thanks to the construction of a highway in Pavlovsky Posad, Russia. The find dates back to the beginning of the 17th century. This is a ceramic vessel with 623 silver coins, the first large peasant treasure with such contents. The most surprising thing for scientists was that the treasure was found intact where the owner buried it 400 years ago. The bulk of the peasant's savings are new coins that have not had time to be in circulation. In total, archaeologists found 6 rubles, 23 kopecks in the pot. Before the troubles began, this was an amount sufficient to build a house or buy a working horse and a cow. Researchers suggest that the wealth went to the owner as a result of a successful deal. In addition to coins, there was a copper cross in the vessel, which most likely was supposed to protect the treasure from strangers. A flower 100 million years old. 
In Myanmar, scientists have discovered amber in which a flower has been preserved. The plant is about 100 million years old. Its diameter is only 2 millimeters, but at the same time, you can see under a microscope about 50 stamens arranged in a spiral. Scientists suggest that the fragment found was a part of large inflorescence. The authors attributed to the find to a previously unknown genus and species of angiosperms of the Cretaceous period, given it the name name Valvuloculus peristaminis. Studying the ancient flower will help shed light on the evolution of plants and maybe learn more about geological processes. The fact is that the tectonic plate on which Myanmar is located separated from the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana, in which it bordered the northwestern tip of present-day Australia. This happened according to various estimates from 200 million to 500 million years ago. The flower, preserved in amber, apparently grew in the forest on Gondwana. And if they consider that it is 100 million years old, it means that the split of the continents occurred later than geologists assume. Tunnel to the Underworld in Mexico, under a busy street, workers unexpectedly stumble upon a secret tunnel with amazing Aztec carvings. One of the workers during the preparatory work for the construction of a bus stop discovered the remains of an underground structure that had remained untouched since ancient times. After the incredible find, construction work was immediately stopped, and Mexican archaeologists were invited to the site. According to researchers, the Aztecs built the underground passage in the 15th century, during the reign of Emperor Montezuma I. Scientists inside the tunnel came across ancient objects made of maiolica, porcelain, and glass. According to archaeologists, the tunnel is decorated with carvings and paintings and was dedicated to the Aztec god of fertility and water, Tilalek. The researchers noted that the mysterious structure found by a worker in Mexico was conceived by Montezuma as part of a ritual tunnel into the Vault of the Dead, which the Aztecs believed in. As per tradition, I will ask you to rate the video with your thumbs up or down, share this video with your friends, let's learn our history together. Thanks for your views, bye everyone!